evening and welcome to video lesson for week 12 by myself. Um, last from the past, uh, the link is on my homework. I'd like you to have a go at it, please. Don't forget your login details if you've not logged on to Microsoft Forms for a while is your school email address and your normal school login password. When you've finished, come back to the video, please. So we'll pause now for a second. Okay, welcome back. Uh, based on last week's work, we're keeping on with the same theme of youth as a new youth centre, so you should all be familiar by now with this client brief. Uh, what we're going to do this week, or what I'm going to ask you to do, is develop a pre-production document. I'm also going to ask you to explain the choice of your layout, your ideas, using any previous knowledge of content, colour, etc. as you create your uh, idea. I want you to then explain what hardware and software would be required to help you create the poster for use on a website and also for display on the notice boards. So what we're going to look at today, or re-look at, I should say, is mind maps. What's the point of them? When are they used? And what features can you remember? So, taking it step by step, in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see an example of a mind map. Uh, showing different things. So the purpose of a mind map is to show different development routes you can take to actually complete a task. You can use links or connect aspects of ideas together, showing how different ideas might actually formulate into a real thing. What we can also do is look at extending an idea or providing options for an idea, taking it further if you need to, you can also give uh, your client ideas about what you're thinking should happen and whether they agree with it. You can illustrate any visual ideas so it shows a bit of a flow. It may well be that uh, your mind map follows a clockwise direction to show the flow of, for example, a video or an audio that you're going to create. What is the mind map? So in other words, why would we do it? Shows us, doesn't it? for creating media product. As you can see in the bottom right corner, it just talks about the style, the structure, paper that you might use, the use of lines, but there's many different ways you can develop a mind map. It's used to help design a collaborative uh, work together and come up with different ideas. They'll all put things together themselves and then they'll come together and they'll create a mind map of everybody's ideas together Lastly, what is included on the mind map? You've got your central idea in the middle, the middle of the spider. Then you've got branches or links, which are the lines that go between different parts. You've got nodes and sub-nodes. You can also have sub-nodes sub of sub-nodes. Uh, it's your choice how much you want to develop your uh, mind maps further. Keywords. You don't want to be writing sentences. Keep the information short and brief. Colour. You may want to have each branch nodes different colours so you can actually uh, interpret the idea clearly. Icons, if you think they're relevant, use them. Topics, in other words, as it sees around the example the bottom right corner, you've got structure, you've got style. So what is the branch all about? And if you wish, you can also include small images. Don't go too daft with them, but keep them straightforward and simple. So, an example of a movie, we've got food loops, the central idea. We've got the links. In this case, we've got seven links around the outside. What we've got is another branch or a node. We've got sub-nodes with different things. As you can see, you've got images there with simple words. You've got another one going, and this is just emphasise the images or the drawings. It's plain, it's clear, it's simple to understand. Try and keep things grouped together. That way, your ideas will flow a little bit more. As I mentioned before, you might want to think about colouring different sections a different colour so that you're fully aware of what they are. It could be that, uh, for example, for dairy, you did all your, part, your writing in purple. For me, you did it in a pinkish colour. You can think about how creative you want your ideas to be. So, there's four ways. Websites there, which I will put the links on, show my homework for you if you want to create an online mind map. 
is for there for you to choose. I think you've used bubble.us before, but it's also worth getting practice on paper because you want to do that in the exam. So by all means do both or just do one, the choice is totally yours. I'll show my homework now. There is a Word document or a PDF document with a range of tasks for you to do. Remember, I do want you to justify your ideas. So what I'll say is take care, take it simple, plan your ideas out, and then email me your work after you've done. That's it for this week. Thank you, and speak to you next week. Bye.